Hi, I'm Dr. Taryn Arula. I'm the Chief Medical Correspondent at ABC News, and I'm answering your questions today all about measles. Measles is a very contagious virus. It is an airborne virus, so it's spread through droplets, particles that someone who's infected coughs, breathes, or sneezes into the air, and other individuals who may be unvaccinated can get exposed in that way by breathing in those infected particles, or those droplets can land on a surface and someone can touch those droplets and then touch their face, nose, eyes, or mouth, and in that way they could also contract measles. So signs and symptoms of measles typically develop about seven to 14 days after you may be exposed. And what we think about is fever, runny nose, cough, and red eyes or conjunctivitis. And then that's followed by a characteristic rash a few days later that starts on the face and then spreads down the body to the chest, arms, and legs. So the recommendation is for the MMR vaccine or the MMRV. For the MMR, the recommended time frame is about 12 to 15 months for the first dose, and then the second dose comes typically around four to six years of age. So it's a two-dose vaccine. And with two doses, we know that's about 97% effective in preventing measles. There are booster shots available for measles, but it's not typically recommended for most individuals. There are certain groups that may need a booster, for example, individuals who may have gotten vaccinated before 1968, um, may have gotten a different type of vaccine and may want to get a booster now. Certain individuals in high risk fields like healthcare or who are traveling. Um, so it's definitely something you could talk to your healthcare provider about. We know that the vaccine confers what we think is a lifelong immunity in the same way that if you had measles, you are really relatively protected for life, which is why individuals uh, who were born before 1957 don't really get vaccinated at this point because most of them are presumed to have had the measles at some point and have immunity now. So we know if someone has measles, we usually treat by isolating them because those droplets are so infectious. And we know that they can last in the air for about two hours we always give the example that if someone has measles and there are around 10 individuals who don't, nine of those 10 individuals can get measles if they are unvaccinated. So it, again, it is extremely contagious. So if someone has it, you want to try to isolate them. Um, we know that the person is contagious four days before the rash until four days after the rash appears. There's no cure for the measles virus, but what we have is a vaccine. This is a disease that is extremely preventable. As we said, the vaccine, two doses, you get about 97% effectiveness in terms of preventing your chance of getting the measles. So um, the only host we talk about that uh, can carry measles are humans, so it doesn't live or breed or replicate in animals. Um, and we see pockets of this around the world. So we haven't eradicated it worldwide, it's still there, um, but the best we can do is to really get vaccinated to reduce our chances of developing measles.